Hey, Devante, uh, welcome to 2021 with us. Um, I'm, I'm curious, what were your thoughts when you heard uh, the Dolphins drafted Jalen Waddle? Well, well, I was I was excited for I was excited really. You know, it brings another guy, another weapon to the team, and some, another guy that can help us. What what has impressed you about him and the time you spent with him on the practice field so far? So he's he's a very quick learner. You know, he and he he listens to what you have to say. You know, we just coach him up, and he listens to you. He takes he takes the coaching. Cam, have you got it? What's up, Devontae? Um, have you got a chance to kind of picture how much uh, Will Fuller and Jalen will be able to open up, you know, maybe some one-on-one -on -one coverage for you? <laughs> nah, I'm pitching none of that yet. I'm just taking this this one day at a time, really. I'm like looking to the future now. Yeah, I'm just one day at a time. Do you have – I know last year we talked to you, a big goal for you was 16 games and, you know, doing that. Do you have any goals for this upcoming season uh, that you want to put down? Nah, I ain't got no. I don't know. I have the same goals I always have. That's it. So now we got another game. Thanks. Adam? I uh, noticed you working before OTAs, before all this voluntary stuff with, with Tua. Was that right? Yes. Uh, how'd that come about? And how beneficial was that? Because obviously you didn't have any of that this time last year. Yeah. Um, I say Tua just got, we are all in a group chat. Tua put in his group chat and he texted us and, you know, we just meet up and start throwing, try to get the uh, rhythm down early. Have you seen uh, benefits already on the field? Oh, yes, I have. How so? His mechanics, he just it looks different. Joe? Hey, Devontae, it's good to see you. Hopefully we'll all get together in person soon with a return to normal life, right? Things are starting to get a little better. Hey, with Coach Godsey and Coach Studesville being the new offensive coordinators and putting their minds together to come up with a new playbook, what have you noticed uh, is different? What's changed about the new plan? I don't already know. Uh, I mean, not the, we, we really, we're just being um, moving around in different spots, I'll say. That's really it, really. More, we just moving around more than usual. Do you envision um, your yards per catch and, and, and yards, uh, the, the number of yards that you run on each route, do you think that that's going to increase this year? Do you think there'll be more downfield uh, plays? Uh, I'm not even sure about that. You know, we still, you know, we're still early, so. I'm just focused on right now. And when that comes, it'll come. Thanks. Stop it. Going on, Devontae. I, I wanted to go back to, to the to the uh, the offseason workouts that you guys have been doing, the receivers and the quarterbacks. What what um just the chemistry that you guys can build on the field just from joking with each other and and going through plays and um, just spending that time together. You know, how, how do you think that really can make a difference for you guys? I say it can help out a lot, you know, just spending time with each other, you know, even it's off the field and just getting that, you know, camaraderie going and, you know, just everybody, you know, knowing each other better than what we had before. Travis? Hey, Devontae, what's going on, man? Uh, last year I asked you about what's something on the field you're working on during the offseason and training camp, and you told me comeback routes. Is there anything specific on the field that you're working on this offseason to get better at? I say just routes, period, just get on my break quicker. Is that something that's more mental, physical, like in the classroom? Like how do you, how do you go about making that happen? It's just more more mental. That's all. Wow. Uh, uh, Devontae, last week when we were talking with Tua, he kind of surprised us when he said that he didn't feel – he had the playbook down really well last year. Um, what do you make of that statement? Um, I'm not sure. He, he's his own guy. He, that is how he felt about it. Uh, I don't have nothing to say about that. That is how he felt. So, Omar. 
you talked about uh, Tua and his mechanics, it, it, that they look different. I guess they feel different. W what about them, if you can explain it to the novice reporter here, um, is different from your perspective? Footwork, ball out quicker, all that. Cam? Hey, Devontae, last year, obviously, he didn't have a – you didn't have a full offseason with Tua or, or anybody – what is the the extra reps with just him as the guy, you know, Fitz is not around, do for maybe your chemistry and his chemistry with all the guys in the starting office? Uh, you know, it just comes down with, you know, getting a lot of reps in with him and just taking it to, you know, to the game. That's all it comes down to. You feel like you guys know each other's, you know, kind of, ways like, to go about things now, the way he throws a certain route, the way you run a certain route. Have y'all got a better grasp of that? Yeah, we talk about that a lot. Um, yeah, we have. And it's something we look forward to. Stop it. Anything you want to talk to us about, Devontae? I always love doing these medias with you because you're like really short, but yeah. you're very nice. You know, you're very nice. nice to you me. Want to talk about us? No, I'm Take good. <laughs> How you, this off this off season, what are some things that you worked on personally, um, you know, for yourself to improve? Just trying to get you know quicker and faster and more explosive. Last question, Adam. I, I had to look this up, and when I did, I, I couldn't believe it. This is year seven. When you yeah. hear that, what what does that say to Devonte Parker? I mean, you're clearly one of the most tenured players on this team. Uh, you're one of the leaders, I'm sure now, one of the, the guys has been around. Um, what kind of an accomplishment is it to have seven seasons with any one team? It's very rare in the NFL. Yeah, I say it's something big, you know, it doesn't happen very often. I'm just proud. I'm really, I'm still here and be able to do what I'm still doing. Was there, was there a time that you thought maybe that, that seventh year might not, I'm not seventh year, but having this kind of longevity might not happen for you here? I never had that in my mind at all. No.